Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with GTA San Andreas. If you enjoy this video, please invent a cure for the coronavirus and then only give it to people who subscribe to me, as this really helps spread the good word of my channel. Sometimes people comment and say it's weird how I just jump right into the video midway through the story without much explanation. So anyway, let's just do that again. Currently we are in Los Venturas and are part owners of a casino. It's called the Four Dragons and we are at war with our rivals, the Caligula Casino. We want to take them down and what better way to do that than by collaborating with investment bankers and slowly acquiring the majority stake by utilising several shell corporations that can't be traced back to us. A kidding, we're going to rob the joint and kill everyone. We need to prepare carefully for this heist because Caligula is owned by the Mafia. I decide to practice my skills as it's been a red hot minute since I've done some good old fashioned drive-bys. Grandmas make both exceptional hand-baked goodies and live targets. I arrive and it turns out I need to follow this lady who works here back to her house. No guns needed. I like it, we're opting for the non-violent approach which is quite rare. This woman is also wife material for sure. She wears a blouse buttoned all the way up, it's very Christian, we should get married. I can't say she does a lot for female drivers though. It also turns out she's visiting a sex shop and I sure hope it's to buy a naughty nun costume because all the conventional nun clothes shops were sold out. Is that a chainsaw with a, wow that's disgusting, I wonder if they exist in real life. Hey Siri, add giant dildo chainsaw to my Amazon wish list. So anyway, things get turned up to 11 as I put on my gimp suit and get ready to gimp I guess. I quickly peruse the stock and they've got all the classics. Hamster Love, Naughty Nurses Part 2, Granny Grabber 10. Sadly, because of my drive-by earlier, I don't think there will be a Granny Grabber 11, which is a modern artistic travesty. Sort of reminds me of when the ancient Mayan temple was destroyed in Belize. So I patiently wait outside this woman's house for the real gimp to arrive. He does, and so I pull out my chainsaw and show him what happens when you eat the apple, so to speak. I also steal this purple toy. I then seamlessly take his place in this encounter, and well let's just say I could hear some quite disturbing sounds coming from inside the house. If I had to pinpoint the day I became a man, it would be playing this mission back in 2004. I was still in primary school, but I went to class the next day and said Mr. Baker, I'm the man of this classroom now, and I taught the class all about how to woo women. That's exactly what the play is here. If we can woo Millie, she will give us the key card to access the Caligula Casino. So we have a really cute low resolution date. She even wears her best bow tie, which is just my kryptonite. And then I drop her home. The little Millie progress bar advances. Anyway, I have a dream. I want to go on a rampage with my new purple sex toy, but to make sure I maximize my DPS, I'll need to hit the gym a bit. So I get my sweat on, thank the gym owner for a great session, and then head to my hotel suite to change outfits. I want to represent Grove Street again, my gang from back home, so I do this by wearing green shorts, no shirt, and a green beanie so that I don't get cold. I gotta look fresh, but also gotta be sensible. You lose a surprising amount of heat through your head. I'm pretty keen to test my new strength out, so I do this by beating a... Well look, I started beating up the first person I found and it just so happened to be her. In a way, it would have been sexist if I hadn't beaten her and I'd waited for a guy. And look, she's an absolute unit. I've never seen a chin like this on someone before. She should get into amateur boxing. Okay, look, I'm gonna go shut off the city's power source. Wolves, look after these fools for me. I'll never get tired of hearing CJ's lines, they're so iconic. I would kill for a sequel to this game, in my opinion it's the best GTA. So I need to shut off the city's power to get ready for this heist. Seems kind of extreme, but have you seen a man parachute this calmly? In sandals and socks no less, what a unit. Fashion before function I always say. Who needs gel soles when you can just get ankle ligament surgery in your 30s? The power is water generated through this dam. I know I praise water a lot on this channel, but I hope you're starting to see why. It's such a versatile liquid. I stab a few security guards who are probably earning $8 an hour. I also stab a few engineers in the neck and then plant the explosives ready to detonate before the heist. I'm pretty sure this is the definition of terrorism, but best not to overthink it. The cops rock up, so CJ Swan dives into the water below. This dive has a high degree of difficulty, which he executes superbly by utilizing a classic forward pike and the entry splash was contained. Honestly, he should be extremely happy with his performance today and can expect to bring home a medal. Anyway, back to the heist. 
Our way into the Caligula Casino will be by just driving right on in using one of their armoured vans. The vans also have a police escort, so I'm tasked with going around and stealing motorbikes. I do this literally flawlessly the very first time. I hit the gym again, which pushes me to absolute max muscle again, and I'm a beast. What's really interesting is I've bothered spending all this time bulking up and becoming overly jacked, and CJ doesn't even have a small penis, I assume. I decide to beat the gym owner to death with my purple sex toy, but accidentally accept his training. I don't want to learn his moves, so I let him kill me, and I respawn at the hospital with $40 in my pocket. That's barely enough for a hand job from a homeless person, I assume. These missions are paying me in respect, not money, so I'm pretty broke and angry. The perfect time to go on my rampage, so I start smacking the good people of Los Venturas. I get a 3 star wanted level with a dildo, which might be my proudest achievement yet, which says a lot about my aspirations and just generally me as a person. Anyway, time to take Millie out on another date so I can get this keycard. I head around to her place and she's not home. Probably at work or maybe she's out flirting with other men, so I fire several rocket propelled grenades at her residence to show her I'm a nice secure guy who cares. I try to pick up a hooker for revenge premarital relations but it turns out this lady isn't actually a hooker. That being said, anyone's a hooker if you have enough for a hypno. Back to heisting and now I need to steal the armoured van for our sneaky entrance. The van is being held at an inexplicably unguarded car park just east of the city that is fully accessible to the public. So clearly the best way to steal it is to go to the military base, wait for a soldier to leave the base in a Humvee, steal the Humvee from a soldier, slip through the gate in said Humvee, shoot literally 27 soldiers. I'm not kidding, we are massacring an entire platoon here. Also shoot down the warships the military send in because they're not happy with us for obvious reasons, steal a helicopter from the base that has a giant magnet underneath it, fly two kilometers to the inexplicably unguarded car park and then pick up the van with the giant magnet. It's that easy. I drop the van back at my airfield, earn some cold hard respect, and then jump in a stunt plane. You see, in these stunt planes you can emit a trail of coloured smoke, and so I fly over Millie's house and write the message, stop being such a hoe please. I reverse parallel park the plane like a pro, and then discover she was actually at work the last time I came around, so my apologies for the RPGs and the whole hoe thing. In truth, it's good to see her as this is the most serious relationship I've ever had in a video game or in real life. I take her to the steakhouse, which is sure to boost our relationship to that next level. Women can be hard to read, but the fact that she throws a sprunk cup at me suggests we're not vibing right now. Also, the body language is a clear sign steak was a bad decision. A message pops up saying that she didn't have a great time. I don't know, Millie. Maybe next time you don't like a restaurant, tell me before we've eaten there. Use your words, Jesus Christ, communication is the backbone of any relationship. I drop her home and the progress bar goes backwards so I blow up her car with a hand grenade. Because my feelings were hurt. I need a new strategy as I just don't think stakes are the answer here. So I steal a nice ass Porsche 911 to impress her, pick her up, take her to the same bar we went last time and it's all happy days. When I drop her home, the progress bar proceeds to go up a minuscule amount. I don't even know if you'll be able to see that watching on a phone. This is just getting out of hands, lads and lasses, plus Millie hasn't even commented on my muscles once. Is she a narcissist? Or maybe CJ is, it's unclear. Anyway, I've got two aces up my sleeve, and it's time to play the first one, the gimp suit. We know Millie is a freak, so it's time to start speaking her language. They don't call me Papa Pelly because I'm a good father figure, I'll tell you that much. More inappropriate sounds as I just look at the outside of the house. So hot. To my absolute dismay, the progress bar again only goes up such a small amount, like what do I do here? We tried steaks, we tried BDSM, the only thing we haven't tried is just sitting down, putting on the kettle and just talking and listening to each other. I'm kidding, we're going to kill Millie. I can't take her out until tomorrow and as I'm killing time she gives me a call and says she'll give me the card, so great news regarding her staying alive. You will not regret this. I know, because I'm getting a cut, right? Yeah, I'm not too sure about that one, Chief. I'm pretty broke and now I'm seeing you as a bit of a loose end, so thanks for the memories. 
I love how it just says, your girlfriend is dead. I head into her unit and I absolutely love what she's done with the place. A very satanic vibe, like a what did I just fap to vibe, very in right now. Finally, all the heist prep is done, but there's still a couple of things I need to wrap up before Woozy will let us begin. I help government agent Mike Torino run a few errands, mostly just murdering other agents, you know how it is. I also steal a jetpack from Area 69, which is a clear parody of Area 51. Speaking of Area 51, did you know 51% of you guys who watch my videos aren't subscribed to my channel? Wow, these call to actions are cringe, but as a YouTuber, it's my job to derive self-worth from analytics. Jokes aside, I can't believe we're coming up to 500,000 subscribers already. You guys are such legends, I just can't thank you enough. Anyway, I also need to head back to San Fierro to help out Caesar. He's still a pretty terrible human and he's still banging my sister, but he does help me set up a car dealership. I thought I'd hit rock bottom murdering scores of innocent people, but now I'm apparently going to be a car salesman, so there you go. Of course, we just steal all the cars and now bam, I'm the proud owner of Wang Cars. With San Fierro sorted, I think all that's left to do is settle some business with mobsters back in Los Venturas and then we should be right to rob the Caligula Casino. If my memory serves me correctly, after the casino heist you then head back to Los Santos to reunite with Sweet, so that should be some good clean actual family friendly fun. But thanks for watching you absolute legends and a huge thanks to those who support the channel on Patreon. Until next time and as always, stay classy.